Like I was omitted from the squad probably a few weeks ago, and that's really, really disappointing. And then, like, Decky got his news yesterday, and I'm sure he's hugely disappointed. And it's, um, you know, I know the man really well, and like, he's been there for my whole career, so it would be remiss of me not to, you know, compliment him on what he has achieved. And um, the last few years haven't been great, but, like, the Grand Slam has been um, a master stroke really, but that's the standards we need to be. We need to be contesting Grand Slams every year and the last few years we haven't been, so in this ruthless business you get moved on for the next person and that's you know, unfortunately what's happened to Decky, so um you know, I've had great I've had mixed times with him. I've had some great times and some challenging times with him, but I respect the man, and that's exactly where I stand in the whole thing. I was only when I watched the news last night and I saw Cardiff, and I was in a, the only red jersey, and all the boys were in green jerseys, were on a stage, and that's why you play sport, but we need to get back to that stage, and that's why I'm frustrated or challenged at Munster at the minute, too. That doesn't seem to be within arm's length so we've a bit of work to do to get to those stages and that's for all of us to to get behind and, and try and get back there is what would concern me yeah but that sport yeah obviously i just probably thought that for the scottish game i was the better option but that would change in the summer time that the new boys need to be promoted and that's exactly what i would have backed as well but for a crucial away game i thought I would have done the job against Scotland and then at least you can walk off into the sunset happy or whatever, but that's the way it goes, you know what I mean? I wouldn't I was disappointed at the time, got it at the time, don't get me wrong. But then when you leave Carton House you think about these things differently and you you see it from outside the bubble and rugby and Irish rugby and Munster rugby is a bubble, so it's good to see it from as an individual as opposed to from deep inside the camp. What's, what's okay. your what's your thoughts on an um, <laughs> what are my thoughts? Um, uh, of course, I like. You know, I think the fellas that have been here as long as I've been, you know, Jerry and people like that. I've seen there is the prouder man in the room. Like, rugby has given me everything, and I am so thankful for that. And I get such a buzz over it. That's why. I want to play on. I got a buzz out of playing rugby. People would say to me, "Why don't you? Why wouldn't you walk? Look at all he's achieved." But like, there's no harm or there's no crime in playing a game you love, and I just want to maximise that. But there's a time, and it's very close when I'm. It's time for me to go, and I don't know if that's at the end of this season or next season. To be honest, which is also like that's exactly where I am. But um, there's a special buzz in playing test rugby too. To be honest with you, and I played it for a long time, and I think it's it's. Um, it's it's um, stuff like that that drives me because when we started off playing the game there was 300 people going to Munster Leinster games or 500 people and I think the easy thing now for players coming in is that they expect to win Heineken Cups but there was probably you know about 10 fellas in Irish rugby who created that path and it's it's easy repeat the foray or the, the trek to the North Pole it's the first fellas that did it I think were is what I take pride in, and that's what motivates me, is consistently delivering year in, year out. But with that, if you're around so long, you're going to have massive disappointments as well, and I've had that, but that doesn't turn me off the game. That turns me on the game, to be honest. So then, all right.